Hi Internet, Eric here again. Um, first I'd like to thank everybody who have been watching my uh, videos in the past week that I've had. Um, got, I'm up over 115 views at least. And I'd like to thank everybody who subscribed. As of right now I'm at 15 subscribers. And to me that proves that you actually like the shit that I'm saying. Um, and you're not just browsing through YouTube at, you know, 1 in the morning when you're drunk and you're waiting for, you know, your local pizza place to deliver your shit to soak up your booze. So I thank you that. I appreciate that. And in one of the, in one of the comments in one of my last videos, my buddy Roger suggested that I hold my iPad horizontally. So as you can actually see a longer shot in, uh, in my video. So you can see more of the background and shit like that. So I'm doing that now. And as you can see, um, my eyes are pointed a different direction. Um, because literally right now, they're, you know, as you can see in the, in the camera, they're pointed here. But I am physically looking straight ahead right now. So it's just something we'll have to deal with. I don't know how to fix it. And fuck it, I don't care. Um, tonight's video, um, I'm not ranting. I'm not uh, discussing anything. What I do, what I decided I was going to do is, a lot of times you see these videos on YouTube and you see um, people opening shit that they get in the mail. Like say they're, they're a member of this specific club for based on say The Walking Dead or based on uh, a video game. And I guess what they do is they pay like a monthly fee and the company will send them shit out in the mail uh, every month like little figurines or comics or shit like that. And what I'm doing is my buddy, Alan, who I've known, shit, 2001, 2002, somewhere back then. One of my best friends I've met uh, literally on the internet. Um, I'll, I'll go back, I'll go back a little bit. Me and Alan, uh, we actually met in a chat room once. And then it's not one of those chat rooms, so quit fucking thinking that. Um... When you first, uh, when I first got internet, other than downloading porn, what's the first thing you normally do? You go into chat rooms and just try to find people who are interested in the same shit uh, you do. And lo and behold, I was in a wrestling chat room, where, and we were talking deathmatch wrestling. You know, the blood and guts and light tubes and barbed wire and shit like that. And just out of the blue, Alan instant messaged me, and we hit it off, and a friendship was made, and we've been best friends literally since then. I uh, went down to meet him, shit like that, and we've, really, he's like, he's like uh, one of my family. And what we did back then to pass the time is what we, what was called uh, tape trading, uh, back in the days of VHS. Okay, you know, kids nowadays, you know, they're probably wondering what the fuck is a VHS, everything's on Blu-ray and shit like that. No, we literally tape traded by putting two fucking VCRs together, hooking them up. Uh, and recording wrestling videos and movies and shit like that and literally sending them to each other in the mail And that was our thing to do and that's just that's how we became good buddies and obviously since you know VHS is dead um, Alan now would just randomly send me shit in the mail you know, flash drives of this and that and stuff like that and He's been doing a lot of flash drives for me lately, and he just recently sent me a package in the mail but one of the things he kept telling me is basically there's a surprise in it. And I have no fucking clue what is in it. I mean, you know, I know there's some flash drives and shit in it. So I decided that I'm going to open this and find out what the fuck's in it on YouTube. And I guess you'll find out with me. So got my package in the mail from him. And a lovely pretty butterfly tape. Appreciate that, buddy. Um, and here we go. Honestly, literally no fucking clue what the majority of this shit is. So, you're going to be as surprised as me. Um, Alan is a buddy of mine in South Carolina. Um, I, I call him my southern brother from another mother. Um, oh, nice pretty pink uh, shoebox with more butterfly tape. Fucker probably did that on purpose. Um... Uh, what was I saying? Alan from South Carolina. I call my southern brother from another mother. And he's literally just my hick hillbilly friend. But I love him to death. I, like I said, he, I, he really does feel like uh, family to me. And if you really want to know what he's like, 
He's literally me, but more redneck. And, you know, southern draw. And everything like that. So, let's see what the fuck we got. We have... Um, it's still tape shut. Fuck. God damn, whatever is in this, you want to protect me. We have, I don't know what the fuck do we got. Oh, here are the flash drives. God damn, dude. Well protected. And see, it was just funny because the thing with Alan is, he's not a social media guy. He, he Fuck, back when MySpace was around. He was into that, but he got bored of it. Hardly ever YouTube. Uh, he does Facebook, but me and my wife are his only two friends, and he literally is on it, um, like, maybe twice a year, and that's just to wish us happy birthday. But we text each other almost every fucking night. Dude, super cool, and yep. Blast drives. And I'm sure this is filled with a bunch of deathmatch wrestling, uh, you know, tournaments of death, shit like that. And that's, like I said, that's how we met in our, um, our chat room. We were just discussing deathmatch wrestling because everyone else was discussing, let's see, 10 years ago, it was probably Stone Cold Steve Austin or The Rock or some shit like that. And I was big into ECW and uh, CZW, which is another hardcore uh, wrestling federation, you know, where they use light tubes. What the fuck is that? Oh, okay, light tubes and shit. Well, speaking of wrestling, I have a wonderful rock doll. You know, what the fuck is that? All right, and his back opens. He's got a little fucking finger puppet. What the fuck is this shit? All right, now, okay, that's great. Thanks, buddy. And then what's really weird? Holy shit! Look at the different colors. You got dark, dark faced rock looking kind of like Todd Bridges, but you have the lighter skin body right there. I wonder if they just took like the body of a Stone Cold Steve Austin figure and just superimposed it. He looks like he's got fucking vitiligo, you know, what the, uh, what Michael Jackson had. But that, that's actually pretty fucking neat. I'll actually use that in a video somehow. I'm also playing another idea I have going on is, um, a lot of shit that's going on in, uh, the world today, I'm going to make videos, if I figure out how to edit it, I'm going to make some videos, and what I wanted to do was, say, have it acted out with my uh, action figures and shit that I see, that I have all around my basement, like I have some bobbleheads of, uh, of Slimer and Stay Puft Marshmallow Man, I was going to have them act out what they thought about the Ghostbusters uh, reboot or whatever the fuck it was. And I'm definitely going to have to throw in uh, Vitiligo Rock somehow. Maybe uh, the fact that he is probably going to play fucking Jack Burton in uh, the remake to Big Trouble in Little China. The fuck is that? Seriously. Um, what do we got here? <laughs> oh, this is nice. I'm a beer drinker. Alan knows this. Um, fucker got me. A luchador bottle opener. This is fantastic. Yeah, okay. You see right here. A nice crotch shot. Right here is where uh, you open the bottle. At. And he, it's like he's going to fucking uh, headlock the bottle. That's awesome. That's really cool. He looks kind of like... Uh, well, he's the stereotypical luchador. I don't think he's based on anyone. That's fucking cool. Reminds me of a... It's like a horror movie I watched the other day called uh, WrestleManiac about this killer luchador. Um, one of those so bad it's good movies. It's about uh, a group of college kids are going into Mexico and they're literally forming a, for, uh, filming a porno movie. And what they're doing is they go into this part of town where a wrestler was forced to live because he was he was uh, he killed people in the ring, obviously. And, of course, you know, he is, he's still living there. He goes psycho, kills all the kids. And, literally, they have to destroy him by taking off his mask. Fucking weird shit. I watch a lot of stupid shit. You'll find that shit out. What do we got here? 
Uh, well, I got some shoes in this shoe box. Those are nice. I actually wear those. Size 12. That's nice. I'll put these to good use. Thanks, buddy. I actually needed some new shoes because I actually have... I only have to buy one pair of shoes a year because I'm, I'm broke and I don't do that shit. And what the fuck is this? Evan Williams Honey Reserve. I guess it's to hold your shot glasses? I've never had Evan Williams Honey. Very interesting. I don't think I've ever had any, uh, Evan Williams at all. I'm more of a Jack Daniels guy, wild turkey, that type of stuff. If I'm not drinking beer, but then again, I'll drink anything. As you can hear and see. Oh. Like I said, this isn't, this is just kind of a work in progress. What the fuck is this? This is the last thing in the box. Wrapped pretty good. This must be a surprise, unless uh, Rocky was the surprise. Or the bottle opener. Both really fucking cool. So I have no fucking idea what he's got sent to me. But it's wrapped pretty fucking good. And it is... What is it, fucking booze? Well, came in a nice little... Not so baggy. Man, what the fuck is it? Yeah, it looks like booze. Yeah. And if it's booze, I better fucking open it up. Now, see, this is why I love you, Alan. Uh, what the fuck is this? Ultra Premium South Carolina Crown Club. Oh, it's over here. I have no idea what the fuck this is. 40% alcohol. Excuse 80 proof. Yeah, so it's probably whiskey. I don't want it to go. I might as well give it a shot. I am a whiskey drinker. I like Jack Daniels. I like a lot of Canadian whiskeys, like Canadian Club. Uh, Canadian Reserve. Basically, I don't, but anything cheap. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a cheap whiskey, old man beer drinker. You know, like old Milwaukee. Um... I'm drinking Miller High Life tonight, but I like old Milwaukee, old style, any of that type of shit. Right. Okay, there's absolutely no smell to it. I'm a little... Oh, it's imported Canadian whiskey, so this will be good. There's no smell to it. I mean, it could be that I'm a little stuffed up, but I don't know, I'll give it a shot. It says... What? Oh, it's imported from Canada, but it says South Carolina Crown Club. Oh, what product of Canada? Go figure. If it's southern, you know, it's probably got a kick to it. So, bottoms up, Alan. Oh, shit. That packs a punch. So, it burns and then it's smooth. Very nice. Oh, thanks, buddy. Yeah, I'll get to the last round. Oh! Okay, well, that's basically it. I got a good bag out of it. Um, sorry, not much of an interesting video. Um, but, hey, it's, you know, it's just a cool thing me and my buddy Alan do. Um, and like I said, we've been doing it for years. Um, Cool, cool guy. A really good friend. Um, it's just, I'm wondering what the fuck other than death matches that he's got on these flash drives. And I guess I'm going to find out. He, he, he's, he, he's good at surprising me with some stuff. Um, yeah, it's just weird how you, how you randomly meet someone and they can just be one of your best friends for life, you know. Um... And, you know, and he's, he's fucking in South Carolina, and I'm here in Illinois. But it's just so cool how this shit can happen. And we've been friends all these years. Um, I've told him my hard times. He's told, told me his hard times. She's like, God, I love this. 
you know what? I'll probably do I might just use it once to open my beer bottles. And then I'm definitely probably gonna decorate use it to decorate something. I have a bunch of beer bottles in my garage that I save, really cool ones. You know what? Maybe I'll just fucking put that on that. Oh, that's fucking awesome. He also looks like he's doing like the little fucking Russian saber dance. No, that's cool. Thanks, buddy. God, yeah, I, I got that movie, WrestleManiac. And, it, and the funny thing is, like, for all you wrestling fans, it stars Rey Mysterio Sr., the uncle of Rey, oh, uh, superstar Rey Mysterio Jr. is the killer wrestler. I'm, I'm rambling. I don't know what else to say. I'm sorry. But, um, like and subscribe. I appreciate it. Um, comment, um, anything you want to say. Like I said, I'm just rambling here. This was just a spur of the moment video. Um, but I thank you for watching. I thank you for spending your time that you could be doing something else more productive and then rather you'd watch me open up a shoebox of shit from my friend that you've never met, probably never will meet because he's kind of a hermit and you'll probably never meet me either because I'm kind of a hermit. Another reason why we're together or we're like the same, we're together. Yeah, that sounded great. I said me and Alan are together and he sends me a fucking purple shoebox wrapped in butterfly tape. Yeah, that's great. And I think that's the perfect way to end this fucking video. Um, once again, like and subscribe. Cheers and fucking butterfly tape. Have a nice day.